Good morning, Facebook Live and Jocelyn fans. I'm Rebecca, the program director here at the Jocelyn Center, and today is episode 177 of the Jocelyn Variety Show, I think. We're getting into such high numbers, I can't even keep track. Um, today is Wonderful Wednesday, which is our arts and crafts slash recipes slash warm up day. So Veronica is here to do a little bit of stretching to get us going. And then Judy is going to show us some Valentine's crafts. Um, and Veronica too, I think. Team effort? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're going to do that after that. But first, let me remind you, everything we have coming up, there are two appointment, two important events this month. We have a sound healing workshop that's happening next week on Thursday. It uses Tibetan singing bowls. It's going to be a really neat uh, virtual experience. Call me to sign up for that one. And then the following week is our emergency preparedness workshop, which also happening virtually via Zoom. But if you RSVP with me, um, I can hold a free kit for you and these kits have food and water and first aid products and hand sanitizer in them they are great you definitely want one so call me to RSVP for that event and uh, then I will know to set aside a kit for you so those are both coming up I can get you all set up for them but let's go ahead and warm up with Veronica thank you Rebecca hello everyone so let's just move for a little bit, and then when we do one stretch, we're going to be doing the stretch seated. For right now, wherever you are, just or even if you're seated, just get your body moving, and you can start um, lifting your knees, you're pumping your, your legs, and if you're ready, you can even just gently reach overhead, reaching, keep your shoulders down when you reach up. And can be reaching to the side and like you're trying to touch the side the, the walls on either side really reach out your shoulders are still down and you can even pull in and push out okay we're practicing our coordination we're marching pushing out pulling in of course your chest is open your chest is open so when we push out and pull in try to make sure that your your chest is nice and open and your back is straight Okay, so however you want to move, it's your choice. Let's warm up our bodies a little bit, get our blood flowing. Okay, side to side. Side to side if you're standing. And your breathing's starting to elevate just a little bit already. Mine is. Yours is too. And so just make sure that you're breathing continuously and not holding your breath. We lift our shoulders up. And so keep moving. Doesn't that feel good? I've been standing most of the morning and it feels good just to be moving because even though I was standing, I was pretty stationary. So if you're sitting, standing, just get up and move. Music or no music? So the stretch that we're going to do seated is a variation of a pose, a yoga pose called the, the um, pigeon pose. And since we're going to, uh, and let's go ahead and get your chair. We're going to get a great stretch up the outside of the, of the thigh, right up into the glute. So keep breathing, have a seat, and, and just think, so if you're already seated, this is something that you can do um, because you're already seated. But I have to just say first, just remember when you stretch, uh, you always stretch lightly, even if you're really warmed up, which of course you can stretch more deeply then, but um, we have a really quick warm up that we did. So, we're just gonna stretch really lightly and get the feel of it. So your feet are under your knees, feet are flat on the floor. Um, I've moved away from the back of the chair and I'm gonna bring one leg up, just a very casual sitting pose, okay? And so we're all gonna look different. You might have your knee up, you might have your knee down, and it might be different leg to leg. But what we're gonna do is, however your knee is, just, just let it, just let it be whatever's comfortable for you. And 
You're going to just relax, lift up from your middle, lift up and come over. And as you lean forward, so you're not collapsing, you're gonna come up and forward. Right as you're leaning forward, you're gonna feel the stretch going up the side of your outer thigh. And this is really, this is a really good stretch. You, if you have to stop and think, how do I stretch that part of my body? Well, here's an answer right here. And it's real accessible for just about everybody. So I'm only leaning forward a little bit. And Judy, do you feel that stretch? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sure. And depending on how you know, flexible you are, okay, it doesn't matter how far you go. You can lean a little bit more forward and feel the stretch. Listen to your own body. And just hold it there and just keep breathing. And you can hold it for many seconds. It should be comfortable. It's not one of those, like sometimes when you stretch your hamstrings, it's, it takes a lot of discipline to hold that stretch. Just relax into it. Relax. And do think about doing this stretch. Let's stretch the other leg now. Make sure you always do both sides. So my ankle is about right there. My leg is parallel to my body, but it, it might be different for other people. Whatever feels comfortable, then up and over. So it's up and over. I'm not really putting too much weight on my legs here. I'm really thinking about how that stretch feels. Always elongate your spine forward and relax. Everything's loose. I'm not, I'm not flexing anything. I'm just relaxing and feeling that stretch. Breathing in and out. One side probably feels different than the other side. That's just normal for you. That's normal for everyone. Okay. All right. That's terrific. That was one stretch for the outer thighs. And we are done today. Let's get Judy moved in here. All right, Judy, go ahead and show us what you've got for us today. Okay. Okay. Let me get my mouse because you're joining me, right? Okay. And I'll move this in a little bit more. Whoops. I'm going to scoot you a little closer so I can see you guys. Okay. You get started. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Happy, wonderful Wednesday. Yay! Uh, we have a holiday. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Holiday? Anyway, Valentine's Day is Sunday. So, Veronica and I came up with an idea that's very inexpensive, but can kind of make your house look festive. So, we're doing a Valentine's garland and very very easy once again if I can do it you can do it okay so what I did was take different colored paper pink and white as the accent color and then of course red have to have red on Valentine's Day although you can mix it up with pink so we have these three colors and what I did is, I like my Valentine's to be perfect. So I cheated and got cookie cutters as my um, model. And I made all sorts of different colored Valentines. And to just to make it pretty, I used pinking chairs, which add a lot to it, don't you think, mm -hmm. Veronica? Yes. Um, but then, because I had different shapes, you can also make different size valentines. Okay? So, say we have all of our valentines cut out. What I did, and you can cut these down to whatever size you want. You can make them bigger, smaller, but I just use this side as a basic. So then you get your ribbon, and what you do is put one valentine there, okay, and then overlap the first one, just like that, 
But again, you can do it any way you want. Um, you can make it the same color if you want, like that. But it just stands out more when you use a little bit of contrast. So you can do that. You can do kind of space them a little bit. You can do like that. You can add little sequins on them. Some of our some of ours we put stars like that. Or you can use glitter. You can be as creative as you want. It's lots of fun. So nothing's wrong. So and it ends up like this. Do you want to hold that one up for me, Veronica? Okay. Let's see. So this. <laughs> So I used white string on this, and then Veronica used the red, red yarn on hers. And you can make it as long as you want, or short, like these are short. And yeah, you can hang them <laughs> like that. Voila. Yeah. And see how easy? Looks great, easy and fun. Right. Good job. Uh, wow, it just turns, it just transformed this whole background. We should have done that before the show even started. <laughs> That's true. But that was fun and that was easy and it's just a just a, adding a little sparkle to your you know, to your environment. Yeah. You enjoy a happy Valentine's Day. Well thank you to both of you. If you guys have Valentine's decorations at home, send us pictures. We want to see them. Um, we love seeing things that are festive and fun. So send those over to us. You can email them to me at Rebecca R at jocelyncenter.org. That's R-E-B-E-C-C-A-R at J-O-S-L-Y-N-C-E-N-T-E-R dot org. We want to see everything you've got going on, so send it over. And then the rest of the week we have today at 2 o'clock is Tech Untangled. Tomorrow at 2 o'clock is our Zoom chat group. We have another variety show for you on Friday and then it is a long weekend for us. We will not be in on Monday, but we'll be back on Tuesday. But we'll see you Friday. So have a fantastic week. We'll talk soon. Yay.